Welcome back to Autism Live. It is time for the story of the day. Uh, reports are coming to us from Canada. We've been talking about how there was a proposed change to the way autism was going to be funded in Canada, which had a lot of parents up in arms. And we are hearing in the last couple of days that the, the cry of those parents saying we are going to fight for services, their kids have been waiting sometimes for more than two years to get ABA services, and then they were being told that there was a cutoff, that uh, once children were past a certain age, they were not going to receive those services even if they had been waiting and the parents were up in arms calling everyone that they could protesting and saying this isn't right this isn't going to work um, and their government has heard them we're very proud to announce that they have added significantly more money to the fund and have made uh, uh, an adjustment to their thinking and they are going to continue to fund children who are over the age of five and they're making a pledge that they're going to work hard to make it so that people don't have to wait as long to be on the waiting list. I, I want to say what an inspiration our Canadian parents are that they stood up and said, nah, -uh, this is not, this is not how this is going to work. They got together, they were organized and they were clear in speaking to their government officials about what it meant to them, what it was going to cost their children and the fact that they weren't going to let it go. I think all of us have so much to learn from those Canadian parents. And I really have to give a big shout out to the Canadian government for being willing to listen to their people and hear what was going to happen if they cut all of these wonderful children who matter and who had been waiting for these services that we know are critical to give kids.